So if I'm being challenged in my body, I'm going to keep speaking health until I see health. I'm not the sick trying to get well. I am the well maintaining my health. The DNA of God Almighty runs through my veins. I don't have my regular blood. I got God blood in these veins. Jesus died on Calvary over 2,000 years ago and transferred a healing anointing on my life. I can't be sick. Sickness is of the devil. Sickness is far away from me. Ain't nobody in here but me. For valley I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, shall not doubt in his or her heart what he saith shall come to pass, he shall have. Look at somebody and say, What you saying? Don't say what you see. Tell them, don't say what you see. Don't say what the doctor says. Say what you desire to be. You speak your desired outcome. One more scripture on this, and I'm closing. We'll pick back up here next week. I need Romans now, chapter 10. I want to go verse 8, 9, and 10. Three little verses, then I'm through. Just showing you how it works now. Showing you how it works. How many here believe you say? Raise your hand. How you know you say? Because the word says so. Now that was a good answer. That was a good answer. But I know it by faith. I can't feel saved. When I got saved, I ain't lose no weight. I look the same. But something happened on the inside of him. Amen. So the change happened on the inside. Even though you can't see it outside. Gradually you start seeing it if you was watching my life close enough. Amen. That's right. You start seeing me transition out of the old man coming into the new. And guess what? I'm still transitioning. Because he says, when that which is perfect is come, then I'm going to be like him. Amen. So don't judge me while I'm in transformation. You might miss something. The caterpillar is real ugly before he becomes a butterfly. But what saith it? What saith it? The word is nigh thee. Where is the word? Even in thy mouth. Not in your preacher's mouth. Even in thy mouth and in thy that is the word of what? Faith. Word of what? Faith. Word of what? Faith. Which we preach. So every week you come in, I got to give you a little dose of faith. Or oh, I'm out of order. I'm not following what I was instructed to do. If I get in here and hoop, holler, and entertain you and don't give you no faith, don't stir your faith up when you walk out that door, I'm in trouble with God. You ain't worth that. No. But one said that the word is not even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Verse 9. Here we go. Watch this. Come on, y'all read it. There it is. That if thou shalt confess. Stop. See, most of the time when you hear confession, you always think about something negative. Do you know this is a positive confession right here? See, when we think about confession, we think about being on a witness stand in a court of law, telling everything. But God said, I want you to tell this. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy, that God, thou future tense. See, I told you, you speak, see how I hit? Your desired outcome. Where's your desired outcome? Somewhere in my future. So my words will meet me in my future. Keep saying I'm so broke I can't pay attention. You ain't going to never have a ruby. Money going to run from you. You need to be saying money is my friend. Come on, go on, say it. Money is my friend. Now see, y'all looking at me crazy, saying, oh, Lord, pastor, where you get that? It's from Jesus. Jesus said, can make to yourself friends of unrighteous mammon. I need money liking me. Come on, say it. Money, money. 
is my friend. Say, money likes me. Go on, hit it like this. I am very attracted to money. Say, I am extremely attracted to money. Hundreds, hundreds, and thousands. They just like me. They just like me. They just like me. See, if you can't have it, you won't say it. For that, I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed. See, right now, I'm a mountain of debt. So I got to keep speaking to debt till that mountain is disseminated. Till it's gone. Till it's gone. I'm calling in 2.5 till it's gone. Till somebody come over here and bring it and pay it off. I'm going to call it till I see. Because I believe I can have. My problem here is I just don't have enough people believing with me. That don't believe like I believe. I had to fight with you every week to get you back in belief. You go out the door Monday through Friday, get with them demons and devils. Next thing I know, you don't believe like you believed last week. Then I got to start all over again. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto. Word has to be in three places at the same time, y'all. Stand to your feet. Your head, your heart, and your mind. God is going to be the God you say he is. He's responding to what you say. He told Aaron them right there in our second point of the day, go to him and tell him, I'm going to do exactly what they said I'm going to do. They could have been to the promised land, but they kept murmuring. They kept complaining. They kept fussing and arguing with Moses. Moses give them bread one day, they won't meet the next. You tell me we ain't got no water, we ain't got this, we ain't got that. Kept all that just kept them in the wheel for 30, 40 years. Wow, wasn't that word good? You can obtain a copy of today's message by simply calling or writing us or even emailing us at the information that will be located on the screen. Word of Life is a need meeting church with several opportunities to serve you and your entire family. We have activities for children, youth, teens, adults. I mean, we, we try to touch the total man. We got a gym you can work out in. We got a soup kitchen that's open every Thursday. I'm telling you, there's not a place where you can't serve. So if you're looking for a place to serve, learn, and grow, then consider the Word of Life Community Church. And until next time, on the same station at the same time, remember that without faith, it's impossible to please God and you'll be blessed. Thank you for tuning in to Power in the Word. To order a copy of today's message, simply write to Power in the Word, 351 South Craft Highway, Chickasaw, Alabama, 36611. We would love to have you come fellowship with us at Word of Life Community Church, located at 111 South Florida Street in East Brookton, Alabama. Our service times are Sundays at 10 o'clock a.m. for Sunday school, followed by an 11 o'clock worship service, and on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. for our Power Hour Bible Study. For more information, log on to our website or call 251-456-2652 or 251-809-2887. Are you looking for an accredited school to enroll your child in? If so, then Life Institute Christian School is indeed your school. Life Institute Christian School serves grades K-12 and utilizes an individualized accelerated Christian education curriculum that allows the student to achieve attainable educational goals at his or her own pace. Enrolling your child in Life Institute Christian School will leave them with an experience that they can proudly share with others. Allow your child to obtain a valuable education here at Life Institute Christian School on the campus of Word of Life Community Church. For more information about the school, call 251-456-2652. Here are the ways that you can view Life Television Network. You can now view Life Television Network on the new WGOX TV 43 by simply going to your local retail store, purchasing an antenna, and connecting it to your TV monitor. Life Television Network now has its own app. You can install the app by simply going to the App Store in your mobile device and typing in Life Television Network in the search bar. The app is also available in the iTunes Store for those with an iPhone. You can also view us on the Roku streaming player by going to the channel store and searching for Life Television Network in the religious category. And you can also view us on our website at www.wordoflifetv.org. 
You can also stream Life Television Network live on YouTube by simply searching for Word of Life TV Network in the search bar. You can also listen to Life Radio Network by going to TuneIn.com and searching for Life Radio Network. And there you will find our station. You can also tune in to Life Radio Network on our website, which is www.wordoflifetv.org, and click on the page radio. For those of you who are in Chickasaw or the surrounding areas, you can also tune in to Life Radio Network by simply going to 87.9 FM. We here at Life Television Network and Life Radio Network thank you for your continued support. Hello friends, I am Dr. Henry W. Robinson II and I am the president of the International Fellowship of Independent Christian Churches and Ministries and also businessmen. But if you're out there and you're looking for a place where you can learn and glean a fellowship, not somewhere where somebody's trying to lord over you or be your pastor, but you want to be in a, a part of something and your church is in an independent situation, and I know that there are a lot of us out there, but we're not independent, so to speak, but we're interdependent. And that's why we need fellowship. The Bible says where there's two, one can keep the other one warm. I want to come into unity and agreement with you. And I want you to consider becoming a part of the International Fellowship of Independent Interdenominational Churches and Ministries. Man, I'm telling you, we have such great meetings. We have breakfasts every quarter. And in those breakfasts, we share things that help take our ministries to the next level. There are also times when we bring in special speakers. But most of the time, we're just networking and coming together and sharing a group of pastors and ministers and leaders from the community that are coming together to create change in the earth realm. If you need a place, call home, a place that's going to love you, give you instruction and impartations that will cause your ministry to grow and change and be all that you believe God has told you it could be, will become a part or consider becoming a part of the International Fellowship of Independent Christian Churches and Ministry. I'm so blessed to be the president and the founder of this organization. It was birthed because I started birthing sons and we needed to be, be, have a place that we could convene around and just fellowship and glean from one another. The Bible says, iron sharpens is iron. So does the kindness of one friend to another. I may paraphrase that, but you know what I'm talking about. We need each other. Every joint supply. You may have a supply that I need. I may have a supply that you need. So an announcer is going to come and leave some information that you may know how to become a part of or find out when our next meeting is. I look forward to meeting you and greeting you in the name of Jesus Christ. On behalf of the International Fellowship of Independent Christian Churches and Ministries, God bless you and keep you is my prayer. To learn more about the International Fellowship of Independent Interdenominational Christian Churches and Ministries or to receive a membership packet, write to 351 South Craft Highway, Chickasaw, Alabama 36611. Or you can call area code 251-456-2652. Now it's a time when we can all participate in this. This gives you a great opportunity. If you've been blessed by this broadcast, you may be sitting behind that television screen, internet, or on your screen of your computer saying, what must I do to be saved? I am so glad you asked. It's very simple. Jesus said, my burden is easy and my yoke is light. Call upon me and I will answer you. You know what? He's sitting there waiting on you to call him. All you got to do is pray this prayer for me. Repeat after me. Say, Father, I thank you. That your word declares that if I will confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead, that I will be saved. Now, God, I renounce the hidden works of the darkness, and I ask Jesus to come into my heart, come into my life, and save me, redeem me. I thank you, God, for my sins being forgiven, and I thank you for coming into my life and saving me. I believe I receive my salvation right now. Wow, it's just that simple. Listen, I want to put a powerful tool in your hand. It's free. If you pray this prayer with me or you're just watching the broadcast and you desire to know more about your salvation, I have a little book I wrote some time ago called What is Salvation? I want to put a copy of this book in your hand. It can be read in one easy setting. You can share it after you get through with it, leave it in a bathroom and share it with your friends or your family members. But it talks about what salvation is, what salvation isn't, and how you get out there, and how you can obtain salvation and maintain your, your new walk with Christ. I want to welcome you to the family of God and thank you for tuning in each and every week or however you may watch this broadcast. And I thank you for your support, your prayers, and your seed. God bless you. And keep remembering that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Until next time, you be blessed.
To receive your copy of the book, What is Salvation? Simply write to Word of Life Community Church, 351 South Craft Highway, Chickasaw, Alabama. And remember, without faith, it is impossible to please God. You be blessed. Word of Life Community Church is here to serve you with one church in four locations. In Pritchard, Alabama, located at 1682 South Atmore Avenue, on Sundays at 8.30 a.m. In Chickasaw, Alabama, located at 351 South Craft Highway, on Sundays at 10 o'clock a.m. and 11 o'clock a.m. And in East Bruton, Alabama, located at 111 Florida Street, on Tuesdays at 7 o'clock p.m. And in Pascagoula, Mississippi, located at 3705 Burden Avenue, on Thursdays at 7 o'clock p.m. For more information, log on to our website at www.powerintheword.org. This has been another edition of Power in the Word. On behalf of Dr. Henry and Sherry Roberts and the entire Word of Life Community Church family, we say God bless. Tune in next week to another edition of Power in the Word. And remember that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Until next time, God bless. You're tuned in to Life Television Network, your number one Christian station. Seven five W A B D. We are the Gulf Coast Hit Music Station. Get ready for the twenty seventh annual International Gulf Coast Word Convention, July twenty fourth through the twenty sixth, seven o'clock p.m. nightly here at the Word of Life Community Church. This year's speakers will be Bishop Paul S. Morton, Greater St. Stephen's Full Gospel Baptist Church, New Orleans, Louisiana. Bishop Samuel Blake, New Home Family Worship Center, New Orleans, Louisiana. And our very own conference host, Dr. Henry W. Roberts II. This year's impact speakers will be Bishop Harry Thomas, Fresh from Heaven Ministries, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Bishop Harry Williams, House of the Lord, Spirit of Life Church, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Apostle Otha Lockett, Resurrection Temple House of Prayer Church, Tampa, Florida. And Pastor Paige Brooks, Churches of New Orleans and the Restoration Initiative, New Orleans, Louisiana. Come join us as we celebrate 27 years of God's faithfulness. July 24th through the 26th, 7 o'clock p.m. night. Here at the Word of Life Community Church, 351 South Craft Highway, Chickasaw, Alabama. For more information, call 251-456-2652. Word of Life Learning Institute is more than just a daycare. We specialize in the overall development of your child. We utilize an accelerated Christian education curriculum that teaches your children the basics they need for a strong academic future. We provide nursery through K-5 after school care and before and after school transportation. For more information, call 251-456-2650. Word of Life Learning Institute for learning and caring. It's all about change. Stay tuned for a life-changing word. And if we would just shift into being the believer, can you see how much more manifestation would be in our personal lives? But church people don't want to talk about that. My Lord. Well, let me tell you what doubt means, and everybody can go and sit down because everybody needs some of this anointing. Amen. Amen. God sent the word. Hallelujah. I need a word. If God said too much doubt is in his house. Oh, my God. Too much doubt. Too much doubt. My Lord. Speak, Holy Ghost. Speak, Holy Ghost. He said the reason why. He makes the announcement this morning because we've been praying for miracles, not just this congregation. This is a universal word. We've been praying for signs, wonders, and miracles, and we haven't seen many of them. Because doubt is in the house. See, the atmosphere has to be set for miracles to manifest. I'm going to yes, say it Yes, yes, yes. See, we just can't walk in like this. For miracle prayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah ain't looking for right. no miracle. Ain't looking for no miracle. Oh, yeah. Ain't looking for the preacher. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. And then some don't even come. Look at the name of it. How could we miss prayer when it say miracle prayer? God said, tell my church like he told me. He said, Apostle, it's too much doubt in your house. Jesus, help us, Lord, help us. Glory. So we don't come to miracle prayer. Jesus. But everybody's looking for a miracle. <laughs> Do that make any sense? We had miracle hour prayer at 5 a.m. in the morning for three consecutive years or longer. And we saw miracles, but it wasn't but a handful of us. And so I started questioning God. Now you said one could put a thousand demons to flight, two could put ten thousand demons to flight. Now it's more over here than was over there. What the difference that happened? He said the people quit right that was over there, they believed. Oh my God, Jesus. We didn't have nothing but our faith in God. Because when doubt comes in, we 
we tell God we don't believe him. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and being afraid. Do you remember how many times in the Bible God everywhere, he got Jesus and God when they got ready to do things, they had to tell the people, fear not. Because it was about to bring doubt in. So he said, fear not. Don't be afraid. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Listen, what else? Fear God won't come through for you. Have anybody felt that like I have? Yes. Yes. Now, if I call on Rita at 10 to pick me up at 12, I'm ready and waiting on her. I don't have no fear that Rita ain't coming. Let me say that again. Whatever your friend named Bushika or whoever it is, you don't have no fear when you call them. You start getting ready. Is that right? So why we fear that God won't come through for us when he told us in Psalms 84 and 11, no good thing will I withhold from them that walk upright. Yes, yes. Somebody said, we got to get doubt out of here today. We got to get doubt out. Come on, talk to your neighbor. Tell them we got to get doubt out. The only way they're going to get out is we got to cast it out. It's a spirit. We can't dance doubt out. We have to cast doubt out. We go on down. You know what we put the foot on down? Yeah, 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 yeah. In doubt, that doubt. Yeah, yeah. Get back up. Still don't believe God. Well, let me take you to Mark 11. Father, I thank you that you are hoping me out. Uh -uh, I gotta get doubt out of my life. I mean, I got to get it out with a quickness. Too many things have been withheld from me and you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because of the spirit of doubt. Yes, yes, yes. Go to Mark 11. Yes, hallelujah. And we're going to start at 22. That's good news, good news. Hallelujah. God came to help some people. Anybody needed some help this morning? Yeah. I know you're looking at like, we look, we look like we got it all together, don't we? But that little old spirit of doubt. Has been riding around with us, talking to us, yes, yes, counseling us, yes, telling us what our husband ain't gonna do, yes, yes, what the children ain't gonna do, and showing up what the money ain't gonna come through. Somebody said, "Doubt you a lie." In Jesus' name, Mark 11 and 22, and I'm gonna paraphrase where we are. Jesus cursed the fig tree. Jesus said, wait a minute, now anything ain't being fruitful. I just wear the cat, curse it, and let it dry up. But like us, anything ain't being fruitful, we put mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on it. We try to bring it back, but some things hit your neck and say, you just got to let it die. Don't bring it back to life. Curse it. In the name of Jesus. Mark 11. Are you there? Amen. 22. Let's go to 21. And Peter called into remembrance. Remembered said unto him. Master. Behold the fig tree which thou what? I told you he cursed it. Is withered. And Jesus answered and said unto him. Them, Have what? Amen. Say he saying that to me today. Brenda, have faith in God. Call your name out. Brenda, have faith in God. See, that'll help get doubt out. See, once we cast doubt out, the opposite of doubt is faith. That's why the devil loves a church that is entertaining. He knows that the word of faith is not being preached. And he knows that the word of faith is not being preached, then people won't reach their fullest potential in God. So the rascal is a con artist. He gets us involved in our emotions. 
something. If you want to see something, you got to say something. That's what's wrong with the church. They're too dark and quiet. The Lord will say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. That means you ought to be saying something. Instead of letting the pulpit do all the talking, when we come here, we are only up under the anointing of the master teacher. His name is Jesus, God, and the Holy Ghost. But do you know the pews have a responsibility when they come to the church? And that is to participate in the assignment. Hallelujah. Sit there and look cute all you want. I'm going to get mine. Hallelujah. Get mine. Get mine. I said, I'm going to get mine. Turn to somebody and tell them. I'm not going to get mine. I done cast doubt out. I'm going to get mine. You better get out of my way. I'm going to get mine. I've been wondering what was the hold up? What was the hang up? God said, too much doubt in his house. Say, I'm back on track now. Come on, give God a hand of 
that this place is called the place of miracles. Can you handle that? Somebody say a hundred proof from God. God is saying this, baby, I ain't got to back up nothing. He watched over his word to perform it. All we got to do is hear and speak and then we will see. Sit down, Mark 11. 22, the place of miracles. Hallelujah. Please don't take me to LSU. Take me by CCC. Yeah. I heard there was some people over there got healed. They got healed from lupus. They got faith over there. I heard there was an apostle over there that had shingles in the doctor gave her. Eight weeks, but God turned it around in eight days. Take me, take me, take me to the people of faith. In. I heard it was a woman named Veronica. Oh my Jesus, she had a double aneurysm. But when God began to turn it around for her, in the name of Jesus, she Tree. Yeah, yeah. And then he said, 
And Jesus answering said unto them, have faith in God. That's what we stopped at. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever, somebody say, I'm a whosoever. I'm a whosoever. You can call me any name you want to, but I'm going today by whosoever. I'm a whosoever. Shall say unto this mountain, mountain, yes, he meant a literal mountain at that time. But he's talking to us, we can say to difficult situations. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can say to roadblocks, things that are holding us up. Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in what? My heart. Somebody said, my heart. My heart. For your CCC good news. Big things are always happening at Christ Centered Room for you here at Christ Center Church. Join us on Sunday mornings for discipleship training class at 9 o'clock a.m., followed by Miracles Corporate Prayer at 10 o'clock and a morning worship experience like none other at 10.30 a.m. And then come in for a midweek refueling on Wednesdays with Miracles Corporate Prayer at 6.30 p.m., followed by Empowering Disciples Bible Study at 7 o'clock p.m. Pastor and Apostle Ashley would love to see you here at Christ Center Church, 6808 Jefferson Page Road in Shreveport. Another life-changing message from Apostle Brenda Ashley. For more information, find us on the web at www.christcenterchurch.org. Life Television Network, Chickasaw, Mobile, Pritchard. Hey man, this is R.C. Blakes, and I am so excited about what's coming up for the Family of Churches Fellowship International. F-O-C-F-I, that's the organization that I'm so blessed and privileged uh, to be the leader of such a, an enormous group of uh, big-hearted, visionary pastors and fivefold ministry leaders from all over the nation. And every year we have our annual conference, and uh, this year's conference, the theme is Game Changer. This is the year of the Game Changer, and we have a lineup like we've never had before. Uh, we're going to have um, Pastor Ron Carpenter. I could just bear down on whatever. Where are the whatever people? When I came to God, I said, I didn't come to God and give him his parameters. Whatever, 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 whatever you do. Wherever you've been assigned, wherever you've been asked to serve, in word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. And by the way, be thankful while you do it. We're going it. to have Pastor John Hanna. He having a conversation with the woman telling him about her faith. And some of y'all delay. He hasn't come. He come. Have you noticed that sometimes Jesus is the slowest person? Everybody else come quickly. He like. <laughs> Just let your neighbor be honest. Let your neighbor say, I need him to hurry up. I ain't got time for this. I need him to come on do this for me right now because I feel like I'm about to lose my mind. I feel like I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. Ain't nobody got time for this. Come on here, man. We're going to have evangelist Dorinda Clark Cole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stopped by to tell you, you got to start doing these three things. You got to declare it. You got to decree it. You got to believe it. You got to receive it. I said you got to declare it. You got to decree it. You gotta believe it. You 
got to receive it because in just a few days, guess what's coming? Tell your neighbor, favor is coming. You ain't got the money, but favor's coming. You don't have the wherewithal, but favor's coming. You don't have the resources, but favor's coming. You don't know who to talk to, but favor's coming. Shiny air, shiny air. Dr. David Evans. Sure. In my mind, in my heart, and in my spirit, and no weapon, none formed against me will amount to anything. Verse 16 gonna make more sense to you. For this cause, we faint not. But though our outward man perish, though it looks like we're overcome on the outside, I understand that does not represent all of me. Because where my power is, is in the inner man. And that inner man is renewed how often? And the list goes on. I want you to go to focfi.org and I want you to register now. Uh, regular registration is just $49. You'll also find information about hotels. Uh, you don't want to get into how many tracks we're going to have. We're going to have a track for uh, men called the Manhood Challenge. That's for young men uh, all the way on up. We're going to have a track for young girls that's going to be facilitated by my wife, Lisa, First Lady Lisa Blakes, called Girls of Destiny, where she will begin to pour in the principles of uh, my women's empowerment message, Queenology, into them at their age level. We're going to have SWIM, Sisters Winning in Ministry, where I'm going to take those three days along with some other guests, and we're going to pour into women in ministry, whatever capacity. We're also going to have a track for preachers called the Preacher's Lab uh, by, uh, by Bishop Ballard. We're going to have the Leader's Lab by Bishop Henry Bolden, the Music Ministry Lab, done by Bishop Dave Hollister, including everything from music to liturgical dance. Uh, it's just going to be absolutely amazing. Our sessions start every day. You have to also remember we start every morning with Bishop Samuel Blakes, my very own brother. And then following intercessory prayer, we're going to utilize the, the second half of the first hour with Bishop Henry Roberts, who's going to lead the School of the Holy Spirit. I know with all of my heart that the Holy Spirit is the game changer. So this year, you don't want to miss it. All afternoon services, which will start at 1, are open to the public. And evening worship is clearly open to the general public. Registration is just $49. VIP is just $99. June 18th, 19th, and 20th, I want you in the city of New Orleans, Louisiana. We're going to be at the Pontchartrain Center, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. If you were there last year, you can attest to what's going to happen this year. It's going to be phenomenal. I'm looking forward to having you and yours at the Game Changer this year. Don't you dare miss it. Are you looking for an accredited school to enroll your child in? If so, then Life Institute Christian School is indeed your school. Life Institute Christian School serves grades K-12 and utilizes an individualized accelerated Christian education curriculum that allows the student to achieve attainable educational goals at his or her own pace. Enrolling your child in Life Institute Christian School will leave them with an experience that they can proudly share with others. Allow your child to obtain a valuable education here at Life Institute Christian School on the campus of Word of Life Community Church. For more information about the school, call 251-45626.
Well, praise the Lord. Brother Charlie, we're here ready to go. Yes, we are. Yeah. Ready to break the bread of life Amen. with you. Yes, we That's are. That's what we're doing. This is breaking the bread, the bread of life. Amen. I tell you, Brother Charlie, God is doing some wonderful things. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's a great you, things. Yeah, he's a miracle working God. Yeah. And and he's here to work a miracle for you. Amen. And the telephone number's on the screen. Yeah. Don't cost you nothing to call. You need to get on there and call if you have something you want from God or something you need from God. You notice I said want from God. That's right. Or need. That's Brother right. Charlie. And me and Brother Charlie will take it to the throne room of God. Yeah. We'll agree with you. Yes, Jesus we will. said in Matthew the 18th chapter, the 19th verse, if any two will agree as touching anything, anything. on earth that they'll ask our Father in heaven, it shall be done. Shall be. Unto them. Shall be. Yeah. And so we'll agree with you, and us two and you makes three. Amen. That's more than two. Yeah. That's greater numbers, ain't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. The Bible said one put a thousand in flight, two, two put ten thousand. Ten thousand. Wow. How many can three? Yeah, I can't <laughs> count that high, Charlie. <laughs> That's the trouble. <laughs> but I know it'll work. I know it'll work. You see, we've tried it. Yeah. Week after week. That's right. That's right. We believe it. Yeah. We believe it, and it works. You see, listen, God has extended to us wonderful grace. Amen. You know why? Wonderful. He has a wonderful plan for our right. life. Yeah. And Amen. all we got to do is believe him, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we got to do. Don't cost nothing to believe him. That's right. Believe God. Thank him for it. That's the way I show him I believe him. When I ask him for something... The next time I think about it, I thank him for it. I do too. Yeah, right. that's that's what we do. Yeah. Because that lets him know that you're expecting it. Yeah. See? And that you know this and that he heard you. Yes. Yeah, that he heard you. Amen. See, in Third John, he said, uh, uh, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. That's right. And if he hears us, we know. We have the petitions. That we ask of him. Yeah. Glory, we God. have those petitions we ask of him. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Now, a lot of people <coughs> say, oh, Charlie F. say, that's too hard to ask God. That's too hard. Listen, he told me uh, a week or so ago, maybe two weeks, he said, tell my children, ask me for a hard thing. Yeah. He knew what they're thinking. I remember that. Yeah, ask me for a hard thing. Yeah. And then just thank me for it. Amen. Listen, how long do I thank him for it? Till you get it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Till you get it. That's, That's right. Sad. Yeah. Till you get it. Listen, it ain't you ain't wasting your valuable time or his. He wants to bless you. Yes, he does. He said, Listen, I w want to give my children good gifts. Good gifts. Yeah. Something they really like. Yeah. You know. Listen, beloved, he said, I desire above everything yeah. that you prosper. And be in hell. Be in hell. Even as your soul prophet. Yes. Covered it all. Amen. Covered it all. That's like we were talking Sunday about the Lord's Prayer. Listen, that prayer, the disciples noticed. They they seen Jesus praying, and they seen that he was raising the dead, healing the sick, casting yeah. out devils. And one day they said to him, they said, Jesus, teach us how to pray. Yeah. They seen his prayer was effective. That's right. Teach us how to pray. He said, all right, here it is. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Listen, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread. Yes. And deliver us from evil. Yes. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you something. That prayer covers every aspect of our life. Yes, it does. Every aspect. You think that Jesus would have given them a prayer that wouldn't have helped them? Huh? No, no way. I was I was telling my class about a lady. She was she had gotten uh, old and and uh, a little sickly, and she was knew she was dying. And a lady we know went to visit a friend of hers went to visit her at the hospital. And she said she was, she went in, she was repeating the Lord's Prayer 
over and over and over and over. Yeah. And the little nurse said, she's been saying that all day. <laughs> she's been saying it all day, same thing, over and over. And listen, in a little bit, she slipped off into eternity saying that prayer. Yeah. What a way to go. Yeah. Slipped <laughs> off into eternity saying that little prayer. Yeah. The Lord's Prayer. We yeah. call it the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. But it was our prayer. Yeah. Our prayer. Yeah. Listen, I'm telling you that we're coming into a time, Charlie, of signs, miracles, and wonders. Yeah. I'm telling you, I was talking to the Lord about that tonight. Amen. He said, when his last general, when I take my last general off the field, he said, what he talked about was two, and that was one of Old Roberts and Billy Graham just left. Mm -hmm. That was the last great general of God. Yeah. Now, you say, well, that wasn't the last great preacher. No, there's great preachers out there. But he said, when this happens, there's going to be a last revival. Yeah. The last revival. Yeah. And he said it's going to start. I told Dr. Cho, and I told you this. Yeah. And the East, East Coast. Yeah. In Virginia. Yeah. A great revival, Charlie, yeah. that's going to sweep this world. Yeah. Azusa Street was started by a black man yeah. out there. And they came from all over the world. That's right. To... To receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. They did. Yeah, they went to Azusa Street, yeah. California. Listen, this last revival, now listen, there's not going to be no more great generals. This revival, Charlie, is going to be <coughs> preached and taught by the sons and daughters of God. Yeah. Like you and me. That's right. Yeah. That's like right. you. Yeah. Listen, the church is going to get the last revival but listen to me there's going to be millions saved millions yeah and they're going to come out of that drug culture yeah and and other stuff you yeah know, habits bad yeah. habits god is going to save those that you never thought would get saved listen and you mm -hmm. never thought would change yeah but god's going to save them because when they begin to see the signs miracles and wonders they're going to know that there's a God in heaven. That's right. And he's still sitting on the throne. That's right. I'm telling you. We've heard about him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. They've heard about him. Yeah. But they haven't seen that much to prove to them. No, they haven't. See, God will prove. Yeah. He'll prove. Yes, he will. If we'll just let him, as sons and daughters of God, yes. let him work his will and his way in our life, we'll win souls. Amen. Those children that's been out there, you thought, oh, Lord, they're, they're going to hell. No, they'll be going to heaven. Amen. Because God's going to save He's them. He's going to save them. Yeah. Those that you think there's no chance, listen, there is a chance. Yes, there is. <laughs> yes. There is a chance. I believe they're that. going to be one. Yeah. That don't mean we ought to quit praying. No, we got to keep fighting because it's, spiritual, it's spiritual battle. Yeah, it we is. Gotta, we got to fight against that. Spirit of darkness. Yeah, everything, yep. Charlie, that happens, I think we talked about this other day, yep. uh, last week, that happens, happens in the spirit world yep. first. That's right. We got a war against it. We got to fight against it. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. Uh, Daniel prayed 21 days. That's right. Same prayer. Same one, same every day. The angel of the Lord came and said, Daniel, we heard your prayer the first day. <laughs> yeah. But he said, I've been... Uh, uh, battling and in war with the, the king of Persia. Yep, the prince of Persia. Yep. Prince of Persia. Mm -hmm. That was the devil. Yeah. Himself. Yeah. Listen, God has got a great plan. Yes. And his plan is to save every man. That's right. That, that was the plan of God. Yeah, that's his plan. That, that everybody could be saved. Yeah, and it's that's simple. The plan, yeah. It's simple. Yeah. Yeah. I had... I had just the other night uh, uh, a lady that uh, called me in one prayer, and uh, I prayed for her. Then another call came, and a lady, she wanted me to pray for her and her son and her daughter. Yeah. And I said, what do you need? She said, I've been trying to get saved, and I can't. 
I said, just a minute, I can help you there. Well, I, sure. I led her through prayer like you do. Yeah. You know, listen, I'm going to tell you something. God is saving people. Yeah. If we will just do what he tells us to do. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Listen to him. Listen yes. to him. You say, oh, I thought that was me. No, that's not, there ain't no you. <laughs> There's only him. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's right. We get to thinking, oh, mercy, I must have thought that. No, you didn't think that. It's the one he sent to live in you. That's exactly right. That's telling you that. In him we move, we live, we have our being. Yeah. In him. That's right. <laughs> in Christ Jesus. That's right. Yeah. But today I want to tell you something. God loves you. And he'll do anything you need. Yes, he will. I'm telling you now. If you will just believe him. Amen. If you will just believe him. I believe that. Only believe. Ask. You see, he said you have not because you ask not. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Ask. So listen to me. Praise God. God's got what you need. Yes. He got what you want. Yes. If you'll only ask. Just ask. <laughs> All That's, things are possible. Yeah. To them to believe. believe. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's too simple, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, we try to make it over top of our head, you know. Yeah, we want to do something. Yeah, we want to make it hard. Yeah, we want to do something. Well, that's what, the, uh, do something, that's what the law was. Yeah. God said. You had to do it. Yeah, you have to do this before you can get that. Yeah. But when Jesus was crucified, he said, that's finished. Yeah. He said, I fulfilled the law. Fulfilled it, yeah. Yeah. Didn't abolish it, he just fulfilled it. Fulfilled it, that's right. Yeah. So we still should never steal or kill. Or, that's right. Uh, and we should love our it, uh, mother and father. And the gospel them. teaches us those things. Yeah. It teaches us uh, naturally. Yeah. Yeah. But, but listen, Jesus said, I give you grace. Grace. That's unmerited favor. Yeah. We didn't earn it. Yeah. See? Can't earn it. No, no way to earn it. Nothing you can do to, to, to get God's grace or to earn God's grace. Nothing. You can go out here and you can work all day long. You can do all these things, but you'll never earn it. No. he no. give it to you. Yeah. It's yours. <laughs> Simple. All you've got to do is believe it. Yeah. Believe it. Yeah. Now, listen. The thing about it is this right here. That God loves you so much. Yes, listen to this. That he don't want you to have to do something to get his love. That's right. He already loves you before you do something he's, or don't do something. He's, he has already done it. Yeah, it's finished. Yeah. The works are finished. Yeah. The price is paid. Paid. Nothing you can do to change that. That's right. Nothing. 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 And all you got to do is just believe it. Just believe it. Amen. Now you you ain't gonna have great faith and wonderful faith. That's right. Just have faith. Just have faith in God. That's all. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Just have faith yeah. in God. Have faith in God. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to do nothing to get something from God. Now listen here. I'm gonna tell you what he told me, and this this will help you on that part. Listen. I was getting ready for church one night. I've told this before. I was taking a bath, getting ready. We was having a big revival over at the auditorium. And uh, I was complaining to the Lord. <laughs> I told him how tired I was <laughs> and how I just really didn't want to go tonight, Yeah, you know. And and I, I said, Lord, I just want to go in there and get my recliner <laughs> and take a nap. I'm, sleepy and I'm tired <laughs> you know and I tell him all that and he said son don't you know what you're doing I said yeah I'm getting ready for church but I really don't want to go <laughs> you know ain't no use you should tell the Lord a bunch of lies you <laughs> he, he the knows truth. the hearts don't he and, and he said listen son he said you're laying up treasures in your account yeah you this say well I mean was it you, was you going to trade him out for something? Not right then. <laughs> no. Not right then. No. No. Now, you do have an account. Yeah. Because God writes down the good things that you do. Yeah. You know why? Because 
the devil will come along one day and say, I'll tell you that there so-and-so ain't no good. He said, hold on this minute. Let me read the good things I, I've yeah. got wrote down here. And he'll read them. Yeah. 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 God said, told me personally. He said, I don't believe a word the devil says about you. Amen. That's yeah. right. Don't believe it. <laughs> I've had people say, you know, I heard somebody talk about you, and I, I just, buddy, I, it made me mad. I, just, <laughs> I said, don't ever try to defend me. Yeah. Because about half that stuff, I've probably done it. Yeah. 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 So, That's what I tell everybody. Yeah, don't. 99% of it, I've probably done it one time in my life yeah, or another. Yeah, don't be a 1% fool. 1% of it, I have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, don't be a fool. But you see, the thing that is that God, he said, if you will ask, I will forgive. Amen. You see. That's right. So don't let the devil trick you and say, oh, you've done too much. No way. You could, you could never get forgiveness for that. Oh, he, he don't like you. He's mad at you. That's a lie. It's a lie. That's a lie. Listen. Yes, it is. I don't get mad at my children. No. Listen. I told them. I said, if you kill somebody, I'd try my best to get the best lawyer I could to get you out of trouble. So, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't like it because I killed somebody. No, I wouldn't either. But it'd already be done. I, I, I tried but to defend them, wouldn't you? I'd yeah. defend them the best I could. Yeah. Help them. And I love them. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. And what do you think? about the people that killed God's son, Jesus. Yeah. Listen, he wanted them to be saved too. Listen. listen he wanted listen. them to be saved. They killed him. Yeah. I've had people tell you, say to me, Brother Dash, look what I'm going through. Where's God? I said, he's sitting in the same place he was when, he, when they killed his son. Yeah. Same place. Same moved. place. Never moved. All Never I changes. Think, Never changes. Never. Never. You know what? He loves you. Amen. He loves you. I'm telling you now. I I was thinking, I've been teaching on the kings of Judah. Yeah. Now, I taught on Josiah. Sunday. Yeah. Oh, now, he was a king. Yeah. Out of 19 kings of Judah, he was really the best. Yeah. The best. Started started as king when he was eight years old. Yep, eight years old. But the Bible said when he got to be 16, he decided to seek God for himself. Yeah. Yeah. Said he... He sought God with all of his heart, his mind, his soul, and his strength. Yeah. And when he was 20 years old, he started, he said, we're going to cleanse the temple and rebuild it at 20. This to me. He was a man that loved God, and he, he caused the people to worship God. He tore down the idols and burned them and the altars that they had erected, yep. you know. Yep. Now listen, I'm talking about a young man. Yeah. You know, you know how old he was when he died, thirty-nine years yep. old. And you know why? I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> After all that loving God and God loving him, the king of Syria, of Egypt came up to make war against one of his neighbors. Yeah. And he decided. He was going to get his army together and, and fight against the king of Egypt. Yeah. And the king of Egypt sent him word by his ambassadors, and he said, Look, God sent me up here to take this city from these people, and he didn't tell you to meddle in my business. Yeah. This is God's business I'm doing for him. Now That's think right. about this. Listen. And was a heathen king. Yeah. He wasn't no godly king. Of no, he was But Not God Egypt. had told him go up there and take that city. <clears throat> Listen, Josiah, being God's man, wonderful man, he disguises himself, takes his army, and goes to war against that king of Egypt. That's right. And an arrow hit him. Yeah. And he told his men, he said, get me in another chariot and take me home. I'm mortally wounded. Yeah, mortally wounded, yeah. Died at 39 years old. Yeah. You know why? He didn't listen to the plan of God. Shouldn't have been there to start with. Should not have been there. God mm -mm. said, don't do it. No. Now, where did God take God took him to heaven. Yeah. He loved him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I knew a great preacher, evangelist, that was one of the greatest healing evangelists that ever crossed America. That God took him home at 38 years old. Yeah. And another great man of God that I know and been in church with, service with, yeah. 
he stopped and was talking to him and started to leave and God said, wait there, I want you to tell him something. You tell him if he don't quit what he's doing and love the brethren, I'm going to have to bring him home. And so the man told him. Yeah. Told him exactly what yeah. God said. Listen, you know what he done? He went to town. He lived in Dallas, Texas. Listen. And bought him an insurance, a life insurance policy for a quarter of a million dollars, two hundred and fifty million a thousand. Yeah. And told the insurance man, he said, Now listen, God's gonna take me home. He's already told me. The man said, He can take you anywhere he wants to as long as you can pay the premium on this <laughs> on this insurance. Yeah. And he did it. Yeah. He prayed it. He paid it. You know what? It's thirty eight years old. This is a man that had a great orphanage, built a big orphanage. Yeah. Had several churches. Yeah. Had a tent that would seat 10,000 people. But he wouldn't do the plan of God. See, God said, yeah, listen, Jesus said to the young man that asked him, what's the greatest, uh, uh, you know, thing that we could do? or what's?" Uh, he said, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. That's right. But he said, second, love thy neighbor. That's right. As I said. But he couldn't love his neighbor. They had, they had mistreated him. A church, a great organization. I can tell you who it is, so I'm not going to. Make no needs. No, but they had mistreated him. They had talked about him, and they hadn't helped him. And he had grown uh, uh, kind of angry yeah. at him. And he was, uh, uh, in doing so, he wouldn't forgive. He built the wrong spirit. In yeah. That, in that sense. Yeah. yeah. It's like witchcraft. Oh, yeah. And God told him, said, now you, you're you coming home if you don't do it. Yeah. And he just bought him some insurance money, life insurance, and let the Lord take it. His wife was one of the richest women in Dallas at that time. Yeah. Cash, quarter million dollars cash. Yeah. Yeah. But you think, listen, God's got a great plan for your life, a wonderful plan, and he yes. wants you to finish that plan. Yes, he does. And we're going to enter in to one of the greatest phases of the uh, Christian church and world. Listen, yeah. Now, it's already started. Yes. But we need to get in there and participate. Amen. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you what we need. We need to get people saved, get them healed. That's right. Have signs, miracles, and wonders. That's right. Raise the dead. Yeah. Cast out devils. Yeah. Listen, and I'm going to talk about people getting saved. Those empty churches will begin to fill up. Amen. Begin to fill up. Yeah. I'm prophesying now. Yeah. They'll begin to fill up. Yeah. The ones we said, well, they ain't got very many people. Well, they're going to have. That's if right. They'll, if they'll do the plan of God. Amen. And God's plan. Listen, Jesus said, go into all the world. And preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. Heal the sick. Cast out devils. Yeah. Raise the dead. Yes. Heal the leper. Yeah. Listen, when we began to have guts enough to do that, you'll see the church fill up. That's right. I'm telling you now. You say, Brother Dash, how do you know? I know. And He's I'm going to do my part, Lord willing. Yeah. And Charlie going to do his part. That's right. Listen. But we better start praying for these requests, Charlie, because we got a bunch. Amen. Of yes, we do. All right, we're going. We're going to start. And uh, <coughs> this call from Richlands, Virginia. Praise God. The gentleman needs prayer for healing in his body. He has arthritis, and his girlfriend needs prayer healing, uh, for healing in her body. Amen. And so let's. Uh, Glory. Uh, yeah. Glory so to God. Let's pray. Send a, send God's. Amen. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father. I come to you tonight. Lord, right I now. ask for you to move for this man in Richlands, yes. Virginia. God, this arthritis, I command it to leave his body. I, I command his joints to be made whole. Yes, God, whatever is causing it, Lord, I pray right Stop now, Father, now. that you'll in move, Jesus God. Name. Heal Loose him, him, Lord. Let the Loose pain, him. let the pain Go. leave his body right now. God, I pray for yes. his girlfriend, Lord, yes. whatever the Touch need she has. 
I you pray that you touch her, heal her, heal her, her deliver her. From the top of God, her in the name of the Jesus, of her feet. in the name of heal your her. son, Jesus, in I believe Jesus it, name. God. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Amen. God. We this glorify you. From Tazel, Virginia, the gentleman has cancer. Uh, he's in a nursing home and has a feeding Peace. tube and needs God to heal him. Praise God. I pray for this man in Tazewell. I that pray, God, that you'll move for him. This cancer, I command yes. it to leave we his body. I, I know that the name of Jesus sale. is greater than cancer, I God. God, whatever the, the cause of that cancer, now. I command it to leave. Yes. Lord, him. if it's leukemia, whatever it is, God, Go. whatever kind of cancer, yes. I command it to yes. leave his body by the now, power Lord, in the name of Jesus. I send your word. We to glorify you, Lord. Be healed, brother. Let you be glorified, be Father. In Amen. Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. Eating normally. Amen. Amen. Yes. Let them be yes. able to remove that feeding tube yes. right now, God. In Just Jesus' name. Just Richlands, Virginia. A lady needs prayer for her and her family. They have health problems and unspoken requests. Amen. I pray for this lady in Richlands, Virginia, God. Yes, I pray that you move for her. We She's agree. got needs in we her family. She her got. His, she needs to we be agree. healed, delivered, set yes. free. Yes, God, Lord. financially, you know? whatever the need is, God, I yes, know you're able to move for her. God, yes. you know it. Touch Father, I family. ask you to move. She's got faith enough to call. We, and we call it out, God. We yes. ask you to move for this oh, lady yes. in Richlands, Virginia, yes. right now, yes. God, by your power. In Jesus' to name. Heal. Yes, In glory Jesus to God. Name. We thank you, Lord. Amen. A lady from Grundy needs prayer. She's having health problems, and she needs prayer for her sister and brother. They need prayer for health problems. So Amen. For her and her Praise sister, God. I pray for this lady in Grundy, Virginia I right now. I pray for her sister and her yes. brother, Lord. Yes, Lord. They've got health problems. Yes. Whatever those problems are, you're, you're, yes. you're big enough, God. We you're great enough problems. to heal them. We and I ask you to heal them right we now, Lord. She's got faith to call stop. in. And I pray that you'll move for this family right yes. now. The lady that yes, called, Lord. I pray that you'll move for her, we that you'll heal. Your move for her, God. Grundy. Touch her, Lord. Heal her body, God. God, in Jesus' name. Be healed. Praise Be God. Be healed in Jesus' we name. We thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. This calls from Michigan. It's a praise report. Amen. Uh, yes. Called about her son taking medicine, and she went downstairs an hour or so before, and her son was so, uh, so sleeping when she went back down. After you prayed, he was wide awake and alert. Amen. She's going on a ladies retreat. 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 Yeah. Uh, pray that uh, she has an amazing experience. Praise with God. God. Uh, like you talk about. Amen. She can have it. You can Amen. Have it, my sister. We want you to have. You we can want. Have we're gonna believe it. Wonderful. Go amazing. on that retreat. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Recall. Yeah. With him. With report. With God. Yeah. And he loves you. Praise God. And he wants to walk and talk. With yes. You. Amen. Yeah. So thank, thank you, Lord. God. Thank yes. God. Praise Let's God. Pray that have a good, Glory good to God. I pray that you'll give retreat. her a good experience in this retreat, yes. Lord. Yes, Let Lord. her experience the power of yes. God, the Holy Ghost. Let it yes. move in her life. Yes. We thank you, God, for moving in this way, and yes. we glorify you, Lord. We give you the glory, God. Yes. It's not me and Brother Eddie, but oh, we give you the glory God. because we believe in you, yes. and we know that it's we by your power, you. God, not by yes. my might, yes. not by our might, but by your spirit. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yeah, bless her. Praise yes. God. Talk with yes, God, we glorify yes. you. When you pray, just stop and listen. Amen. Have to get through praying. Yes. Tell him whatever you got to tell him. Then just stop and listen. Amen. My wife, my wife, I told you this, Charlie, and I tell it on her. She said, <laughs> she said one time, she said, Eddie, she said, God never speaks to me like he does to you and, and my son, John. Yeah. And uh, I said, well, Mother, he does. She said, never does, never has. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you. So she got down with prayer, and she said, God, you never speak to me like you do, Eddie and John. And, and she said, about that time, God spoke to her and said, daughter, you never quit talking long enough for me to speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's problem. We just keep talking. We keep asking yeah, instead yeah. of receiving. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You have to quit to receive. You have to quit to yeah, receive. Ask, yeah. If you ask somebody a question, you have to stop talking. And, and to get an answer. Yeah, that's all it takes. This calls from Tazewell, Virginia. 
The lady's having problems with a sinus infection and needs healing. Amen. I pray for this lady in Tazewell, Virginia, right now. Yes. This sinus yes. infection, yes. I command that to leave her we're body, cursing. leave we her head. God, open up those sinuses now. right now, yes. God. We let it begin it to, to drain, so. God. Let her be able to yes. smell. Yes, let her be. Let her senses infection come back right now. God, take it out yes. of her head, Father. Remove this far yes. from her.